Well, this morning we had a very rare situation happen with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsing after being hit by a major cargo ship that had lost power. It almost seemed like the cargo ship got EMP'd or something. The thing just bulged right into it, completely pitch black. They reported the power outage minutes before the collision. And this happened at around 1.30 at night, so it gave the unique perspective of everything being completely dark. And then the morning sky revealing what is a very tragic and really rare event. So we're going to go over what went wrong, how did something like this happen, and really that bridge completely buckling the second it was struck by the cargo ship. And you look at the cargo ship, I'm not even sure any of the cargo fell off of the ship. It just completely collapsed the bridge, and unfortunately, there are six still missing. Two were pulled to safety. What we know about Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse, divers searching for people. This was reported earlier today at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, just hours before the Tuesday morning commute was to get underway. A crew of a massive cargo ship leaving Baltimore Harbor lost propulsion and control of the vessel, causing it to crash into a support column of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. You do also have to wonder, what if it didn't hit the support? What if it had missed one of the supports? Would that have possibly helped the bridge remain upright? Maybe like splitting the bridge in half, but because the supports would be stabilized, possibly the bridge would still be able to remain up rather than slamming directly into one of the supports, which caused the entire bridge to collapse basically immediately. There are multiple videos on this uh, happening at around 1.30. You can see it says it triggered a catastrophic collapse. The bridge sitting around one and a half miles long and sending vehicles and people into the water. If you watch the video, you'll notice several vehicles with their lights on almost flashing. Those were construction vehicles. They were doing some type of construction on the bridge when this was happening. The transportation disaster prompted a major emergency response early in the morning from the Baltimore Police Firefighters and U.S. Coast Guard. As authorities estimated, up to 20 vehicles went into the water along with several workers who were part of a maintenance team fixing potholes on the span. So that's what they were doing. Not surprising they go out there early in the morning when there's real light traffic onto a bridge and fix a few of the infrastructure problems there. I can tell you the sonar has detected the presence of vehicles submerged in water that according to Baltimore City Chief James Wallace saying in a news conference. So yeah, it was very obvious that there were vehicles that were submerged based on the fact that you could see the headlights of the vehicles blinking as the bridge started to collapse on top of it. Now, when it comes to this bridge's history, it originally opened back in 1972, 52 years ago. It is a toll bridge, and you can see via this map the ship departing around 1 a.m., and about 28 minutes later, it had collided... And again, apparently they had said a few minutes before the collision that they had lost power. And you can see in the video, the ship's lights completely get shut off. A total loss of power. And then it bangs, unfortunately, directly into one of the supports. Again, you have to wonder, what if it missed the supports outright? Would it just split the entire bridge in half to where maybe the bridge stays standing? Or maybe the bridge did act very flimsy, although obviously it's not meant to interact with a massive cargo ship that was virtually completely full of freight. This is the worst U.S. bridge collapse since 2007, and the speculation has begun what caused the power outage. Many people thinking it could potentially be a cyber attack. Here's something interesting I was able to find a port worker says cargo ship had serious power outages days before hitting the bridge. So apparently this cargo ship has had previous problems with its power. In the article it says, while it is unclear why the ship did not stop, video shows all the lights on the huge vessel turning black. It has also emerged the container ship dropped its anchor prior to impact as part of its emergency procedures after losing propulsion as the ship so so they were bracing for impacts trying to stop this thing from crashing into a support of this bridge and they were not able to stop the momentum it lost power 
and I'm sure an investigation is undergoing. But this is certainly a big story in the United States. I did want to touch on it. And I'm sure there's going to be an investigation into this. But if it had lost power several times over the previous weeks, I think it's a pretty good indicator that, you know, when you have a ship like this and it loses power, it's extremely hard to stop, even if it's not moving fast. The momentum of it seemingly carried it in. And also, unfortunately, the thing was filled to the brim meaning it weighed more, which gave it more power when it slammed in to the bridge. And the bridge basically had no chance. When it loses a support like that, it's got zero integrity and it just completely crippled. So that is the unfortunate, sad story. I would imagine, you know, the culprit losing propulsion, losing power, and unfortunately being unable to stop. That's why they deployed and put out the anchor, but seemingly this was an issue in the weeks leading up to this, and I'm guess that, guessing that's going to be the big story, the fact that this ship had power problems several weeks before this incident, and then it happens, luckily, at 1 in the morning. Otherwise, I'm sure, possibly, imagine early in the morning how catastrophic that would be, although to be fair, you would think at around 6.45, 7 a.m., a ship would not be a massive cargo ship, that is, would not be scheduled to be right next to the, to the bridge. The other thing is this happened very quickly because this ship departed. If you look at that map around 105 and it happened about 25 minutes directly right after that, right after that, I wonder how long it took for them to lose power and, you know, in between losing power, trying to drop the anchor, trying to warn people. I'm guessing it was only a few minutes before it unfortunately crashed directly into one of the supports. And you're looking at the bridge right there. You can see the supports. That's where it nailed one of those big supports. And then it completely crippled the entire bridge. But either way, guys, that is just the updated story on what happened. There was a power outage. Seems like there were power issues with this ship in the weeks prior. And even though the ship was not going fast, it was right next to a port because of the momentum, because of the weight of the cargo, my speculation is that they could not control it. Even with the anchor dropped, that's going to do very little considering the amount of weight that the ship was carrying, the amount of freight it had, it crashed directly into one of the supports. I, I guess the question is, what if it crashes into the middle? Does it split the bridge and maybe the supports remain and it's less catastrophic? I don't know. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.